right, so what's up guys in today's video we're gonna be talking about this trade here and if you can't see it because you see my beautiful face it says the Pelicans have generated traction with the Grizzlies that in a deal that would send the 10th pick and Eric Bledsoe for the 17th pick now Sounds one-sided, I know, but I will say this for the Pelicans. They are trying to revamp their franchise. They are trying to prove to Zion that the new Pelicans can be that top to your team. They are trying to clear cap for Kyle Lowry. Now, that's a big what if. Now, it, on the Grizzlies side, moving up seven spots and getting a, getting a decent backup point guard for John Morant, one, that's only going to help your bench. And that's the one thing we need. We need a more experienced bench, and we needed a more sure thing like a, for a young player. And this accomplishes both of those things. And if you are Memphis, I'm swinging for the fences. Now, this is not the deal. Like, if, if this is the deal finalized, I'd be amazed. Because you would have to presumably uh, uh, decline justice as a team option. I'm pretty sure Grayson, Tyus, or some sort of money is going to have to be involved in this to, for it to actually happen. But Memphis does have the money to act to to uh, take on his contract. Does that make sense? But um, now, I don't know. I see this, and I'm actually going to talk about the Pelicans more than the Grizzlies because I am from Louisiana, and I have friends. I love them. New Orleans is digging themselves on the ground, and it's sad because you now have this generational talent in Zion Williamson. And you've kind of stated your team to be built around him, which is already the worst thing to do. You don't like, you don't come out and say this is your they we're building a team around him because one, it's just going to cause chemistry issues and all that. So, but that's that's a video for another day. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I don't know. New Orleans, man, they're they're in a bad situation because they're they're doing this based off what if we get whoa. What if we get Kyle Lally? What if you don't? You'd look like the laughing stock of the century if you didn't. If you trade, if you made Memphis a division rival and a, just a rival in general, move them up ten picks and gave them a better point guard or a hold up, hold up. I mean, a better backup point guard. And so it's just that doesn't really help you out because think about it. You would have, and I've heard on I've heard rumors that one reason why Willie Green is a head coach is because. Uh, whoever the GM is, David Griffin. Um, kind of, he wanted to envision the assistant coaching staff, and that's kind of why they didn't hire that Jean Vaughn dude. But they view Kira Lewis and Nikhil as future backcourt. I understand Nikhil, but Kira Lewis, I must know, I must not know something that Pelicans fans do. Um, either he might be having exceptional, you know, he must be performing very well in, like, practices and stuff like that. So I don't really know. Um, dang, sorry, I cut myself. But um, if you are the Grizzlies, I'm swinging for this, bro. Because one, you get Moses Moody, Bo Knight, Corey Kispert, or Josh Giddy. I mean, a player that you need to really help it to really solidify your future as being the best. And you know, the reason I like this trade is because one, Tyus Jones is on contract years, so this one makes sense. And it's like Tyus. Really didn't you know? There were times where Tyus kind of fell out the rotation, especially towards last year, just because you did bring Jaron back, and you kind of thought maybe Justice could be this Miami Heat type player that he used to be. Really didn't make sense. Um, but now, I mean, look, if Memphis could do this, it it would make New Orleans look so stupid because I can almost one hundred percent guarantee you, you're not getting a free agent. You're just not, and. You could have gotten somebody like Shreve. Now, you know, you might be able to get Shreve Cooper at like 17. I will say that. And if New Orleans can do that, that would be amazing. But I don't understand why you would do this. I guess if you were really content, if you really know, like, hey, there's some traction between Kyle Lowry and us, then okay, then do it. But I don't see that. I don't see the reason for that. And I don't know. I look at this, and I'm just like, this is such a New Orleans type deal because it doesn't help anyone and it helps the opposing team and especially the Grizzlies, your rivals. I don't want to hear none of Pelicans fans. You know what? You guys think you're all that and you don't do anything in the playoffs. You, the only thing the Pelicans have done is beat Memphis. You've beaten the rookie of the year. That is the only thing you've done in the Zion era. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I have friends that love the Pelicans. How about like, I'm, 
How about four or five friends? I love the Pelicans, and they always give me crap about Pelicans beating the Grizzlies every year. But please do this trade, New Orleans. For a Grizzlies channel, for a Grizzlies fan channel, whatever, for my community, do the damn trade. Excuse my language, but if you're the, if you are the Pelicans, if I'm like, just from a universal perspective, New Orleans, what in the world are you thinking? And I mean, I guess this one makes sense in a, in a way because they may not view Moses Moody or Boknai as like his potential All Star players. But if you're New or- if you're Memphis, who you know has John Morant, has Jaron, has Jonas, has Dylan, already established stars, then I mean, a, another top player would only help you. And I guess I got to realize, like, New Orleans is digging themselves out of a hole while Memphis is just kind of, they're stacking on their pedigree. And so, I don't know. But I don't want to talk about this. Uh, I was kind of getting worried. I was only going to be doing player profiles for the last couple of, until the draft. But I'm glad this showed up. I really am. Um, thank you guys for watching. And be on the lookout for the draft party, man. I'm serious. It's going to be a fun time. It's, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a blast. Uh Man, hopefully this comes out. So you know what, we get to see who is a Memphis Grizzly before a lot, a lot earlier. But um, again, thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day.